Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of Gloomhaven, the Guildmaster Campaign. So we got a lot to do before we start the scenario. Um, I'm going to start off by jumping into the guild and unlocking all of the, uh, or claiming the rewards that we've left off from. There's a whole bunch here. We've, we've unlocked the Scoundrel story quest because she hit level 2. Woke up this morning and found a letter outside the front door. It's for the scoundrel and asks for a rendezvous in the forest. Can I, can I not be in the middle man in the future? Uh, can I not be the middle man in the future, please? Okay. We're going to gain a perk point. The Seuss Singer curses an enemy 25 times. Um, okay, so perk point for the Sooth Singer. And the Mind Thief uses an ability that places a negative condition 30 times and a perk point for the Mind Thief. Okay. We've also infused light 30 times, which unlocks the Sun character. Now, I'm going to warn you now and probably never again, um, but uh, I will be using the sun, the, the sun character right now for this episode and for uh, potentially future episodes. Um, so we're going to claim this now. We'll take care of this in a minute. Your use of the element of light has brought the sun keeper to our guild. They've already said the name. She is now available to add via the character menu. Okay. Now we have some um, unlocks for her. Sunkeeper reaches level two, and then we can start doing some of those, uh, some of her side quests. And I wonder actually, that's it. Okay. So here's our hits with the times two modifier 40 times. Oof, wow. Heals 150 points and consumes light uh, 40 times. Those are for her perk points. Pretty interesting. No enhancements. A relic infused 100 re elements. This is a new uh, relic quest. Your elemental abilities have improved dramatically. Sorry about that, squeaky, squeaky chair. Uh, since you started this guild, if I and I believe you are now ready to attempt the trial of the elements. No simple mission, however. The trial takes place in a cave in the mountains containing a wide variety of extremely dangerous demons. Of course, you are wondering what you will gain from completing the trial. Staff of Elements. Powerful, magical artifact. Uh, I think I know what that is, but I don't remember. Oh. We'll see. And we get five bucks, five gold for killing 24 stem. I feel like that should scale a little bit with the type of enemy it is, but um, yeah. I guess killing 10 of anything gives you five bucks, and then it goes up to 100 for 20 gold. So. Okay, and I think that is it for unlocks uh, let's head to the world map we do have exactly 100 gold and we'll be spending some of that immediately uh, but let's go through and level and do all of this fun stuff now first is the spell weaver and I think it's hmm I'm wondering if we should continue down this path and start and, and to continue adding the plus twos or just add more of these, uh, maybe a curse or the wound instead. There is a way we can add power is adding two plus one cards and we can do that twice. Um, and then removing four zero cards. Uh, it does kind of it, it does increase the chances of, of uh, our negatives here, but it's not increasing it very much when we're starting to add, you know, the plus ones and these other uh, perks here. 
But I think I want to continue on the on the uh, plus two path. We'll probably go for this again in the future uh, for the next one, which is coming up pretty quick. We, we need 20 more XP to, to level her up again. Um, yeah, and that's going to make her hit pretty hard. Uh, I think I'm going down a path that, that kind of makes sense for her in, in general, a classic path. And then we can start removing and then adding some more plus ones. But um, these are okay for her. I, I like that these is, these are a plus two and then it brings in the two that I use the most. I might go for this one before this one. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, arm waving there and, and uh, not sure what, what the plan is, but... I think let's first remove that minus one and we'll put in a zero stun. So now the only thing that can hurt us is this and we've greatly increased our chances for, um, you know, we're only pulling everything else. So uh, there are no negatives, there's only the miss and starting to add some of these to even remove these cards down to, zero, uh, to a none. Uh, will be helpful as well so right last we'll go for the perk first for the mind thief because I'm on that path already uh, consistency or meditate replace two plus one cards with two plus two cards that sounds great right or start removing I say let's do this Meditate. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for meditate first. This will make it a 50-50 kind of way of thinking about it, that it's either a plus one or a plus two. Um, I know that's not exactly, that's nothing that the statistics are showing here. But instead of, uh, well, we're reducing the, t the chances of the plus one, we're increasing it by the same amount for plus two, right? Let's take a look at her cards. Level two, Mind Thief. The Wretched Creature, which is a summon giant rat that moves three, attacks for three, and has four health. So it, it moves a little further. I think the, where is it? So it moves faster. It hits a bit harder doesn't have the poison effect and it has a little bit less health um, but the fact that it moves faster and hits harder is is a good combination for that or move three uh, consuming dark to add curse for targeting one adjacent enemy all right or hostile takeover so Sometimes when I look at these cards, for instance, this one, attack to range four, immobilize, it infuses uh, ice, and you get a point out of it, okay. Or force one normal or elite enemy within range three to perform its turn this round as if its allies were enemies and its enemies are allies. Okay, so this is, this is interesting when you get into a point where, let's say a bear is about to hit her, this would be a good one to play so that the bear goes and attacks somebody else. I haven't really used it very often. I really love the top action. Um, it's a range attack with a mobilize. It's very powerful. Now it is a range attack, so it's not going to be able to use any of the um, augments. So yeah, you're, you're, you're not using the augment, but it is still an immobilized range attack. As I was about to say, it's when I see a pairing of cards like this, I see very, I kind of think that Hostile Takeover is the better card in this case. I could see why somebody would defend this and want to use it, but I don't use summons very frequently, um, other than the Spellweaver for now because the Spellweaver can get that card back, whereas this is a one-time use. Okay, it's a card It's a card that does burn, like any other burn card, and it does have a summon that can move and attack, like 
you know, it, it helps you out. I get it. But a ranged attack with immobilize and infusing ice, which is going to help both Mind Thief and the Spell Weaver. Um, it's very difficult for me to to pass this one up. You know. Now what I think I might do is is use Wretched Creature. Hostile Takeover is a good card. Really, I've used it very frequently. I'm going to try something new. And with this, I think it's pretty simple to say that Gnawing Horde is gone and we're bringing in Wretched Creature. They have a very similar um, initiative. Their bottom action is fairly similar. You know, move three, except that this one you can start to curse with from time to time, whereas move four. So it's a very similar card on top to bottom and the uh, initiative. Um, except that the wretched creature acts different than the gnawing horde or the uh, the plague rat here. It's giant rat versus the plague rat. So I'm going to try and use this a bit more. I can additional uh, additional curses are going to be helpful. So we'll we'll stick with this. Um, I think that these are just showing that they're new. And, oh, whoops. Oh, we had two perk points, that's right. So because of that, we'll, we'll definitely take this. We'll remove a couple uh, minus ones. Uh, this one would be a good one um, in combination with this. To remove that and then to remove it immediately and remove three more plus zero. That's a good combination. So, okay. Next, I've said this a few times, I said it in the last video, and I'll say it one more time. Um, I'm going to be bringing in a spoiler here in two seconds, okay? So if this is not what you want to see, then then I get it, I understand. But we're bringing in the Sunkeeper. The Sunkeeper is, um, the role is Paladin. It's, it's one of my favorite uh, characters in Gloomhaven because it plays the part that I like to, to take part in if I am to play, uh, for instance, something like D&D &D or um, any other kind of RPG. I like to be uh, a melee character that has healing and strengthens my friends. That's, that's kind of the character that I like to play as, all right? And this is certainly her. Um, it says that, uh, you know, Array of buff, heal, and recovery options. Decent melee combatant. She's, she doesn't hit very hard all the time. Um, but she does hit harder than the brute does, typically. And I'll show you in her cards why I'm saying that. But um, she's, she's better in larger parties, so we, we can deal with that. Um, Weaker with less allies, of course, that's the opposite. Can struggle against groups of smaller enemies. Hmm. I wonder why it's saying that. I don't see why many would struggle against smaller enemies. But, yeah. That's, that's an interesting weakness. Uh, and can act rather self-righteous a lot of the time. There's a little bit of a, a lore bit for that. So she has the most amount of ability cards, 14. Oh, yeah, I was going to say 14 sounds off. She has 11. I don't know why it says 14. I guess that's the uh, the number, the total number of ability cards. Okay, yeah, she has 11, which is pretty close. 12, I think, is the most don't remember a 13 could be wrong but I'm pretty sure 12 might be the most uh, with the tinkerer right right okay so I'm not gonna go too deep in this but I just want to show what I kind of like about her she she's really good at tanking she's very good at bringing up shield uh, she can heal 
but she can recover burn cards from allies, which is nice. Um, she can. She's also good at commanding her allies to perform attacks or movements. Um, this is recovering discarded cards, which is great, or up to three. So this is a, a very powerful card. It's, it's like adding a stamina potion for everybody. Um, there's another... She has another one of these that the Soothsinger has. Um, a move for... Somebody can move for, or sh she can move for. Uh... And this is basically the thing that she has that's very good for her. An attack four, which is a good attack to begin with, but if she infuses or if she consumes light, then adds one and she's attacking at advantage. So this is kind of her thing: is attacking with advantage um, if she if light is available. She has another here, but the bottom here is very strong. Shield one. Uh, deduct one movement from all your moves and then this stays um, activated for the rest of the scenario but if you put another shield on you know then it's shield two but this is a very nice card for her um, she can heal all damage on somebody suffer three damage I know I don't usually go th through all of the cards but um, since she's an unlockable character um, and if you're interested in looking at it and you haven't seen it, then I'll, uh, that's what I'm doing now. So, um, well, anyway, th that's basically that's basically it. I'm just gonna keep the level one cards. I'm not gonna go into detail on what the X cards are for the moment. Um, we'll we'll break those open um, in a in a next one. So, in the next scenario. We'll head to the merchant now and I'll take a look at what we can buy for her and perhaps for the others. Alright, so I've spent a little bit of uh, money here and what I've done is put some hide armor. We, we need to get some better armor uh, available. We only have hide armor available now, but um, we gave her that. We, we would like to use her as, as that front tank. Um, that we haven't had for some scenarios now. It does add a couple minus ones to her deck, uh, to her modifiers, but it's 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 gonna help. She's I'm not too I'm not too worried about those because of those advantage effects. We gave her a tower shield, um, which is a shield two for for one attack. We can get that back um, every time she rests, and the remote spider is going to be interesting for her. Um, I thought about putting a potion on her, and I did actually, and then I, I took it away, put it on somebody else, but uh, in this way, during your turn, poison all adjacent enemies. So if she's standing in a good spot to poison three or four enemies at once, this is gonna be a good um, option for her. I took that potion away from her, uh, from, her from the Sun Keeper, and I put it onto the Soothsinger, um, it's a minor healing potion. We just we end up getting the Sue Singer into sticky situations that she shouldn't be in, and healing her up would be nice um, as a healing potion. That way she can heal other people instead of just herself. This way she can heal herself too. So, and that's it. Okay. So I'm not going relic hunting. Um, I'm not going for stories, although I was considering the rogues refrain, but, and instead, um, we're gonna take on the Drake Fens for a couple reasons. Um, this is a, it's a travel, so we get to unlock some, uh, something in this direction. It gives everyone six uh, XP. That's gonna help the Sun Keeper out uh, to kind of catch up a little bit. The Sun Earring is pretty great, and I want to get this, um, I want to have this anyway, this design, so we can purchase it later. But refresh all of your spent items and perform a heal three on self. This, it just gets all of your, your spent items. So for instance, in this case, we could get the Poison Dagger, the Boots of Dashing back, 
all right if you have the more items that you have the better it's going to be for the sun keeper you know we could get the hide armor and the tower shield back but again if, if she had more items to that were um spent which means like a what's the word it's turned sideways um in the board game exhausted rather than consumed exhausted just means it can come back and consumed is gone forever or there are ways of getting that back but anyway this is the the direction that i was thinking of going plus we can see some more drakes uh going this direction so let's check this one out i apologize for the the long beginning but i think it'll be it'll be worth going through all that information there was there was quite a bit to go through anyway so the mayor of Toadmore meets you en route to the village and informs you of the recent attacks on local livestock. He explains dogs and wolves have always roamed the moors, but recently farmers have found badly mutilated animals or have lost numbers of sheep in single attacks. People are afraid to leave the towns and some have even reported seeing dragons. He explains that a majority of the attacks have been near Agnum Tor a rocky outcropping and you head in that direction base of the sheer cliff of granite you spy a cave entrance surrounded by bones this must be where you are seeking inside right so let's go in yep i was thinking about the cards but i don't want to change anything again so oh you know what i think i forgot it no, I didn't. <laughs> I was thinking about the card, uh, the, the Mind Thief just leveled, and I was pretty sure that I forgot, but I made that switch. It was an easy switch to me. And here we are, okay. Drakes this far east, something must have made them leave the mountains. Beware their, their poison, and the walking ones have a ferocious set of bites. Attack from range if you can. Yeah, good idea. So we're looking at one spitting drake, bait. It is flying, and the attacks apply muddle. Pretty uh, annoying. And then we have two rending drakes and their attacks apply wound with the um elite rending drake back here Let's see some of that uh <clears throat> so we have this one room there's only four enemies and there's four of us one per each right a uh, small short hallway into a room about the size that we're in now so um yeah we let's try not to burn everything in this first round but i i think we can see some some pretty obvious decisions here um but i will make the choices uh choices for these starting cards okay and i think this one's going to be pretty straightforward uh perverse edge for the mind thief first where we can stun the spitting drake over here and then feedback loop We'll just get the uh, the shield ready for her. Um, yeah, I, I think I've been going this route for her. I haven't really been doing the attacking, just getting the augment rat ready. Uh, I don't like it that much, but I, I mean, I I'm just that's the way I've been doing it. So um, for good reason because we don't really need to worry about these ones incoming. This one's going to strengthen. All of us going to move and strengthen and then throw voice uh, to disarm them I'm hoping that 19 is early enough for the rending drakes I don't really remember um, and I'm okay with not remembering I'm not gonna go look up <laughs> their information and try and min max this uh, to oblivion so um, I'm fine with with making these mistakes from time to time and learning continue to learn Flashing burst, so one, two, three, we can make this attack. And this way we can bring in some light. We'll get her ready. And then chromatic 
explosion. What we'll do with this is probably ice so that we can, um, um, oh, let's go later so that maybe we can, oh, nope, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter when she goes. Um, then we can get ice and then for the next round, you know, we can go with cold fire so that they can be stunned. And then we're going to go very late, 90, and move up to this drake and stun it again um, so that it's stunned for next round. See if they go in between, which I hope. Ooh, we got really lucky there. 87, and then 72s. So you can see, look at this. Attack three, wound. Attack three, wound. Attack two, wound. Um, I mean, uh, the wound is irrelevant at this point, right? You only need it to attack, to do it once. I think only one of them typically has it, but because of this level, uh, I think they're level three. Um, at that level, they all come with wound. So it's that anything that says here uh, would be irrelevant any any time that it says wounds okay they're not moving anyway so i guess that means we can kind of take a walk up to them but definitely want to ah, no damage but ah, we'll skip the attack take the augment we don't need to go we could you know take that back i think i say that every time but uh that, that's a pretty good starting round for her um, we don't need to disarm them now so I'm wondering if maybe we do something else let's take a look at this um, we yeah we don't need to disarm we could like just take a step up here we could do basically anything else I think because um, if we disarm them what's the point they're not moving Attack five, attack five, attack four. Um, so maybe we play a song. Maybe we play Power Ballad, for instance. And then we can move. Uh, get her moving a little bit. Um, hmm. I kind of like this idea. Because the disarm is worthless, but the strengthen would be nice to get on everybody. But let's let's do it. Let's move up. She's gonna be fine over here. I'll I'll make sure about that. Um, and let's play power ballad. Just stand in the middle of the room and and play a ballad for everybody. That's gonna it will help us all. So. Uh, in this case, we're going to attack for. Th three plus the one from here from that target okay good and let's move now i've already infused ice and i think i forget about this all the time so we're going to bring in fire so that we can use fire and ice on that group over there still stunning them okay great that was a good turn for her and now this one is not stunned anymore so let's stun it We'll skip that movement. Attack for two, plus one from the power ballad, so that's attack three. And confirm the target. Oh, we got the minus one, so it is still attack two. But uh, now it's stunned again. We, we can go another round without thinking about it. It's good. Um, okay, yep, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, go through the cards again as as usual okay here we go the bell weaver with mana bolt just to go early we need to go early cold fire so that we can make this attack and 
Um, we'll just, I guess, move around somewhere. I'm not sure. Uh, we have no one to heal yet, so. Next up at 14 is the Mind Thief with Into the Night. Um, I'm not sure. Now that I think about it. My thought was to just kind of move and then make an attack. And this one would just be to make the attack. Move with Wretched Creature. Because they're going to be stunned, so we can just kind of run up there and, and punch them, mate. Or we could use Submissive Affliction instead of Into the Night to make the attack. I think that's a better idea. Um, that way, if, if we do get up there and they're still stunned, you know, then, then we can hit them again. But mm. oh, I already, I'm already deciding against it. Let's do that. Oh man. Yeah, I'm going for it. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. And then tuning the outcome for the Soothsinger, moving and cursing and then cursing again. So this, we want to be cursing as much as possible. That is a good goal. Let's see what they're doing. All right, so the Spitting Drake is stunned the rending drakes will be stunned all right so poison and wound and they are going to make a ranged attack five or three at range three targeting two poison wound you can see how nasty these uh these creatures can be bring in consuming fire consume ice uh oh power ballad we might as well add that to the elite rending drake so now that's four, three, three. Let's go ahead and use this. I don't see a reason why not to. And you know what? Yeah, let's do this too. Let's just put as much onto this as possible. Um, power ballad, we're still going to do that. Killing them as fast as possible is going to be a good idea. Plus two, two plus twos on them. And Two plus twos. We don't even have two plus. Oh, maybe we're going to be bringing in this. Hmm. Well, I guess when we end our turn, we'll see. Uh, and we'll use this just to move. Sure. We don't need to. We don't need to. Again, uh, we could use this to bring some of the stuff in, but since they're, since they are. Um, Stunned. Oh, you know what? They're stunned for this round. But not for next round. Hmm. Well, we have some cards here that we could use yeah okay that should be fine we should be fine right um we'll end her turn because they're just stunned for this round uh now we defensive stance use defensive stance attack four we're going to consume light oh and it was fire okay so you brought fire back in and we're attacking with power ballad, so it's attack six, and it's an advantage as well. So let's make this a times two. Sure, why not? Twelve damage. Um, I used. I, I guess I didn't say anything about her. I don't remember saying anything, but the attack. Yeah, that was the choice. And then we we're using this just to to get moving. We'll pick up this money while we're here. Yeah, I don't. I guess I didn't go through all of the characters that time, but. Um, let's let's go this way and then we'll slowly kind of make this go. Uh, 
from action sure whatever and we're not going to use those okay defending drakes are stunned so we're making good work in this first uh first room here it's pretty great oh we're not even done yet um, we'll add two stuns and then we'll add another stun i'm wondering how far i can get away I guess I could stand here. One, two, three. Yep. So she's doing pretty good, actually. Um, we don't have to move her very far. The the door is right next to her. That's great. We've added three uh, curses to their deck. Hmm. Hmm. I'm impressed. Scurry and mine's weakness. Let's kill this and then attack here. And that will give us two shields to uh, to work with against any of their attacks. So far, they've been going fairly late in the in the round. Um, I think the earliest, uh, yeah, I don't know what the earliest was, but we've been we've been putting them where we wanted them anyway. So, um, Hmm. I'm thinking of sending these two into the next room immediately while these two kind of deal with what's going on back here. I don't know if I like it, um, but I will consider it. And here we go. So first up is Soothsinger, defensive ditty. The next time any ally within range two suffers damage this round, they suffer no damage instead. And marching beat. So my plan here is go early, you know, throw this up. Marching beat will march um, the, oh, can I do it? One ally within range three. So one, two, three. We'll be able to bring the Sun Keeper one, two, three, and then maybe take a step in or just stand here. Um, and that's to, to open the door. Okay. And then she'll suffer no damage on her first attack. Next is Scurry with Mind's Weakness. This way we can move in and attack. Maybe we can like move here, attack here, and then attack there as well. That's going to give the Mind Thief two uh, shields. All right. Next is the Sun Keeper with Cautious Advance. We can throw a shield up and then Empowering Command. You know, hmm. I was thinking, basically my thought was move in and I actually had her moving in as well, do something else. Um, but I couldn't get the uh, the initiative right to get it. I wanted marching beat and then crippling course so that she would move in as well and disarm somebody, right? But I couldn't get um, the sun keeper to go bef or after her, after the, the soothsinger. And I was thinking this in order to make her go out uh, so that when they're standing next to each other in there, I think I'm going to have to do something else. But I want I want uh, Kasha's advance for the shield. You know what, let's let's do this instead. We'll go. Yeah, that's still not enough. This is the problem, is 62. Would be the second card and then the only other card the latest she has is 61. let's use dazzling charge whoops uh cautious advance yeah this is a problem Let's use Protective Blessing just to have, you know, something. Uh, the top is pretty nice, but, um, yeah. 
I need I need a second card for her. All right. Last is reviving ether with a spell weaver and aid from the ether. Uh, very ether filled um, uh, turn here. Uh, she'll move up four and then probably heal her up. Is kind of my thought there. So, all right. Let's see how that works. What? <laughs> okay, move four and attack seven. I don't think I want to move into that room now. Um, because I don't know what's going to be in there. Well, I guess because I have this, yeah, let's still do it. Because one of her attacks is going to be completely blocked. One, two, three. Um, and the other attack is a stun and muddle. Ooh, okay. Well, the heaviest attack is going to be blocked. And then the second attack probably will be will be reduced potentially, but the stun is annoying and the muddle. Oh, whatever. So I'll have you I'll have you move in. All right. Okay. Let's move up. Skip. We will attack here. Oh! Well, okay. That one was going to die anyway. Shield. I forgot about the power ballad. I we'll want that up. And then attack here. We want the power ballad. Let's get a poison. I think that's worth it. It'd go invisible. But then that would mean she gets the attack. Let's see what we get here. Zero. That's that's whatever. So it has another little bit. We'll go. So two shields. Oh man, if they get a, a times two or a plus two, you're dead. Um, but that could probably be said for the spell weaver too. So. Um. Yeah, we're not going to take a card back. We're not going to go invisible. This is just going to hurt. Let's put the shield up. Yep. Next, what I'll do is I can move right up on top of the... Uh, here. We'll pick up the, the money. We have another room coming up here. Do I want to use the remote spider to put poison on both of them? I think the answer is yes. Let's let's do that so that they're both poisoned. We don't have to think about. She might not be in a in a better situation for that. So let's just use it now. Oh no, I totally totally forgot that that's where she needed to stand. Well, you live and you learn. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to restart the round for this. And <laughs> you're stunned. Great. I'm coming for you. There, you're healed up again. Um. Yep. Yep. Gotta go for it. Cause I need I need monopult, so I can go early. Cause we this this is too nasty here. Um. I almost want to do this again just so that I can heal her again and I might do it 
might do it. Let's do it. And invisible? No. Next round. We gotta get rid of two cards. We could short rest, and that would get rid of it. Stunned character cannot perform any abilities nor use items on its turn. The stun condition is removed at the end of the affected character's next turn. Characters must still select two cards or rest for the turn. Okay, however the actions are not played and the cards are simply discarded, a long rest is performed as normal. So a short rest would not remove it. I just wanted to refresh myself um, with that. So, um, yeah. Let's take a look at the cards then. This is what we're going with. This is going to hurt. Uh, Mana Bolt, just to go early and aid from the ether so we can heal her back up again. I'm hoping that they just attack her. Um, but we, I could just take a step back and then they will just attack her. Uh, but we do want to get her up to full health. So we're going to use aid, aid from the ether in order to do that. Monobolt would be really nice to get that plus two or plus one range there. It's only 30 gold. It really would be nice because standing right next to the target is very difficult for that card. Next is the Mind Thief with Into the Night. And frigid apparition uh, if we can't kill it with frigid apparition then she's going invisible that's it if we can kill it we'll move away or maybe we'll pick up some money i don't know um, that is hoping that if by going invisible that it doesn't move all the way up to here and you know kill that and kill the soothsingers next is the sun keeper i just chose two cards that i felt like um I don't need at the moment and I didn't want to get rid of some of these other cards just yet uh, healing would be nice to have later on um, the tactical order I'm not sure if these I mean this one is a good combination with this because then you can force or command someone to move and then attack um, but you know what let's let's do that Let's go for it. We might find something to do with tactical order and that. Um, I mean, to make somebody else do that attack, I'm not sure it's totally worth it, but nah, it's not. Okay. Oops, sorry. And then we have, um, jeez. And then we have uh, the Soothsinger who's going to heal later. So after she gets hit a couple times, and then strengthen everybody for the next round is going to be important. Um, Spitting Drake is going to attack five, range five, muddle. Okay, well, at least not stunning. And the Rending Drake is attack seven with targeting two and wound. So we definitely want to move away. If we leave the Spellweaver here, the Rending Drake will stand here and make both of these attacks. But by moving away, it won't, won't do that. I was think another thing I could do is stand over. Well, no, if I move there, then the rending Drake will still move up. Yeah. So let's heal you up, buddy. I'm so I'm so sorry for this. She's brand new to the company, and we're just putting through putting her through hell. Um. Could move in and go invisible. It's not really worth it though. So, I'm just gonna take a step back. Mind Thief's turn. Oh, yeah, you're wounded, aren't you? So I'm hoping this is enough. An attack five. Okay, plus two. We don't have to go invisible. Um, she does need to heal. Need to heal. She has two more turns left. Well... I'm thinking we pick up the money. Yeah, let's pick up this money here. We can uh, run up next time. Um, 
Okay, we have a healing card coming up next. Great. Great. And then we can also do that too if we wanted to. Uh, okay, and her turn. Let's see. Activate. Oh, I guess I have to skip the action and skip the action. Turn. I'm so sorry for this. Oh, I got so lucky with that. Wow. I mean, what, what just happened? What just happened? Firm. Got one second, I got a phone call. Okay, and because we, we didn't take any damage, that's right. Um, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. Two uh, misses, she was stunned. She, she still living. We're going to uh, use this to heal up our uh, mind thief. She's kind of in a bad way back there, so let's get her healed up a little bit. Oops, and keep pressing the wrong buttons. Here we go. I think I think we're good. Um, I was thinking of bringing back a couple cards, but I think we're good. Let's just. Hmm. Yeah, let's just take a rest. Uh, a long rest, so that we can choose the card that we're going to drop. Um, we can get rid of Power Ballad and put that back into our discard as well. Um, let's do that now. Power Ballad, cancel, yes. Then end turn. So now I'm going to take a long rest with her. We'll do that. Uh, we only have a couple cards here. Only have a couple cards there, and you have a few cards. Hmm. I mean, I would, I really be, I really need to be uh, hitting them, you know? Um, I think something we could do is like an adjacent ally may perform four, attack four. What? Oh, man. She has such a weird um, values for her initiative, the Sunkeeper does. So it's really hard to plan with her. She has a lot of these like uh, late 20s, there's a 30, 50s and 60s. And it's just so difficult to plan with her uh, when she's going to go. And that's just part of her, you know, that's, that's just it. You can't go too early and sometimes you can go too late, but um, she's in middle of the ground for initiative and that's I'm fine with that. I don't need all my characters all, everyone to go too fast um, It is nice when they can go fast, but um, Yeah Because I was I was thinking to do this right but I would need her to move in, like make an attack and then move in and then she can attack and then make her attack too. Right, that would be, that would be awesome. But that's not the case here. I might, I think I'm going to take this one and this. Nope, let's just go 50s. Um, I guess it doesn't matter, 55 or 57. Yep. And what we'll do is we'll do, make an attack four and then Dazzling Charge, if it's a very dangerous situation um, and we get to go ahead, I guess, is the is the question now. Maybe we do want to go early just in case. Uh, if it gets pretty bad, we can just move and stun somebody. I don't, I don't like it, but we can do it. So let's see what they're doing. So attacking for five, move four, and then attack five again. Uh, spitting Drake, elite. 
is move three, attack four. So this is going to be a an AOE attack. But if there's only one target that's that she's going to target. <clears throat> For instance, the way it is now, because she's closer, she's going to target her. She's not going to target uh, not not she. Uh, this spitting Drake is not going to target these two, unless it was one of them was closer. Okay. Um, now, if they were at equal distance, it still wouldn't happen because she's also going earlier. This is bad. She's going to get attacked twice because of that. So I might need to use this so in order to stun this one. All right, um, we could get pretty close. Actually, we could use this instead. We might, we might have to do it. I think it's going to be worth it, so let's do it. It will burn this card, Empathetic Assault, but it's going to save her, it's going to save the Sun Keeper. We do have advantage on it, that's good. Okay, well we we got it. We uh, saved the Sun Keeper barely again. Because yeah. she's wounded, she's going to take some damage each round. Um, so in order to save all three of them, you know, we, we need to get into this one's face and attack it. If only we could have gotten to here, that would have been great. Then we could have killed this and then something else, but. Um, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna move to here. And then heal. And that will also infuse light. It will get rid of the, the wound. She's at full health again. And she's standing right next to the door. That's going to be helpful. There we go. Yep. And modeled. Um, okay. Man, I wish one of them was a, a normal enemy and we could be doing something like that. We don't really need any of this, and I don't think I want to burn this just for these two. Um, but we only have this one room left. Let's do it. Let's just let's just do it. Can we target both of them? We can. And we're with advantage, so we might be able to kill one of them. Be even better. And we'll stun this one for the next round, so we don't have to think about it. There we go. That one's dead. Now just move two to to continue moving in. We did miss an opportunity for three gold back there, but I'm not that greedy. And oh, we don't need to heal. Now I'm thinking marching beat to go, but I I'd like to continue it. Because when you when you can use marching beat here, and then she has like a, a what is it? Tactical order. That means we could potentially move one person eight spaces. That's awesome. That is that is such a good combination there. Um, so I'm going to keep that one a little bit longer. I could get rid of this. Um, I'd like to continue with that and that. How many more curses do they have? Just the one. So let's keep that one as well. I, yeah, I don't want to get rid of Marching Beat. I really think that's a good one to keep. Um, okay, that one. Because it's affecting only adjacent allies. I haven't really used this. I don't think I have used it at all. Um, and it's kind of... It's hard to see that one go because of the bottom action there that I've enhanced, but I I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. 
Let's take a long rest with her. Take a long rest with her. Um, nobody needs healing. I could do call to action and crippling chorus. Oh no, not call to action. Crippling chorus, I want to go late. Because I want it to be stunned and then I can move up. Let's do let's do this. I'm not too too excited about using this curse card for just one enemy, but it does add another curse. Sure, that's great. But crippling chorus to move up and then disarm it after one, two, three. Yeah, you can do that. So and long rest because it's poison uh not poisoned uh stunned we can all just sit here and long rest and it goes before us which is great so it'll be stunned now and move up actually what i could use this for is just punching it um but i think the curse is going to go a long way so we'll It'll, it'll be more helpful in the long run, I guess. It's already helped us a lot. <laughs> it's kept, kept the Sun Keeper alive, so... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do this really quickly. Okay, so what I've, what I've done here, um, we'll end the Mind Thief's turn. And I'm just noticing now, I, I really missed an opportunity here with all of this. Um, however, I set it up in the perfect way with uh, the exact elements that I want in a turn where everyone had to rest. And that's that's too bad, but oh well. I'll go through which cards we, we dropped here. Um, I dropped Submissive Affliction for the uh, Mind Thief. I want to use, I want to use Wretched Creature before. I'm, I'll be summoning that in pretty soon. And I want to use this Parasitic Influence. I want to see it. I need to be using this a little bit more. I'm not a big fan of the top action, I think I've said before. But because now I have a, a tank, I might be able to use it a little bit more. And the bottom action is really what I'd like to see. So, um, for her, I dropped Mana Bolt. The only reason that I'm using it right now is Initiative 7. That's it. It's huge for that, but I, I just I can't be using it. It's not a very powerful card other than the seven. And finally, lay on hands, heal all damage on an adjacent ally, uh, suffer three damage. It's too early for her to be using this card, um, in my opinion. The loot one on the bottom is interesting because then she can loot and then attack, which is nice. But um, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm not going to be using that top action um, anytime soon. There's there's other cards that I can use that are better anyway, so. Okay. Ah, right. Now we have to pick the cards for this round. Okay, so first we have the Soothsinger going at 9 with Defensive Diddy. Shielding everybody and call to action so that somebody here can make an attack for against this uh, Spitting Drake. Then we have Cautious Advance for the Sun Keeper with Shield 1. And Defensive Stance with Shield 1 again. This is going to be Shield 3 for this round, okay? Now as you might see, well the door's not open. How's, uh, how's that going to help her? Okay. That's because we're going to jump in with the spell weaver, literally jump, uh, and then make an attack, but we can go invisible standing on the door. So this way, the only thing that would be attacking her potentially is the spitting drakes on the other side of this door. Whereas the rending drakes wouldn't be able to walk past or walk through the doorway because the obstacle that the spell weaver is going to be making there. She'll be still be able to attack. Maybe it'll be an attack on this to finally kill it, or attack out there, we'll see. Finally, late in the round, we have Perverse Edge. 
And I do not like that anymore. Uh, let's go with... I was going with Perverse Edge as the bottom attack to stun it. And then summon in the Wretched Creature. Uh, that's, that's just not a good idea anymore. We have this. Let's use Scurry. Nope, nope, nope. One, two, three, four. We need to get in there. Um... I could do something... Actually, I'll do this. Problem with that is that you're going earlier now. We need to be going later, so that's not a good idea either. I want to move... I guess we'll move in. I wanted to bring this in, but I guess what we can do is bring it back in and then we can that the next round well so i'll do that to go really late the doors i'm hoping that everything inside has already gone and then we can go in with um hmm none of these really are jumping out at me at the moment so Um, let's take scurry that way we can use the scurry the uh, the move and then we can use um, sorry the move down here so we can move six one two three four you know, five six whatever but we'll go really late I think that's better oops yep end selection Oh, so they're stunning, and they're actually going at 89. What a pain in the butt. They are not moving, so that's nice. So we have to make sure that we are within, or outside of range 5, which of course, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which means that, well, if they're over here, then they won't see us anyway, so. We, yeah. Oh, shield one for everyone. And then let's have the, uh, you know what? Let's have the mind thief. Back. Disappoint me. Confirm action. Oh, there we go, actually. That was a good idea because then we get another shield. When, we, when she runs in there, that'll be good. Forgot about that. These, these synergies that work out mm, without me knowing. Pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> kind of want to bring it back in, but we do need to move in first. So I'll leave it as is for now. Shield. And so this one is a, I've said it before, it's, it's constant. That's what this is, persistent. There, that's the word that I should be using. It's persistent. It's going to be with her forever until the end of the scenario. She does move at a slower pace, but look at that. That's just beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I was just thinking I messed up. Go through here to here. Because the door wasn't open and I thought something's wrong here. Uh, well, there's three of them. And guess what? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All of them won't be reaching her at all. Uh, which is great. But now we have all this shield and nothing to do with it. So. Let's see here. Do I want to continue? I feel like I want to kill this, but I, I should be able to kill that anyway. But let's let's just get it out of there. Nope, I guess not. I guess not. We are going in this. I don't want to be hit three times by this and then hit by that one. 
we don't have to worry about oh we do have to worry about that um because that's going to move up oh no it's not it's gonna walk all the way around so we don't have to worry about it at all because these two traps here we don't have it it wants to go around it since it finds a path way over here we don't have to worry about that Um, I think I'm going to continue on with this. Hmm. If I move in, okay, I'll basically end here with Scurry. Or I could go one, two, three into here and use, then go invisible. Let's do that. That way this will have to walk through the, um, walk through the traps in order to get to us next turn. And I almost want to just stay, al uh, not stay alive, whatever, um, stay as is to um to just soak up all the damage but there's really no reason i mean it it's not going to attack her and if i go invisible then it's not going to attack her either i definitely definitely bring wretched creature back in right away um and let's just go invisible there's no reason to uh to stick around to stun to get stunned if they weren't getting stunned then sure maybe i'd think about it because she has three shields yeah um okay well we want to go late do we i don't know One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I could. Thinking of doing this. Marching beat to move four, then throw voice. Because that would put her one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three. I would target this space, but all three of them would be disarmed. 32 should be enough. Let's say, let's say yes. Um, this one's not stunned or disarmed or anything. Getting in, on my nerves that it's just standing there. Wretched creature, we'll do this. And let's go really late to summon something in. Reverse edge to stun one of these after they've already been disarmed. That's a lot to ask for. Um, yeah, it's a lot to ask for, but I feel like I can do it. So let's try it out. Uh, really late with aid from the ether. And there's only one normal enemy in this room so i'd like to use spirit of doom to just outright kill it but i need to get there first aid from the ethers on the bottom let's not let's do this and oof, i'm not very happy about this though i'm still going to continue with this i can heal somebody that's fine and we want to be going early We could do something like that, actually. That could be cool. I was thinking. Oh no, she's moving all the way in. That's not possible. I was thinking of using uh, 
where is it? Empowering command. She was standing right here to kill and then do something else, but uh, no. Let's use hammer blow against this to finally kill it. And we want to be going a bit early just to do it. We'll use brilliant prayer to do that. Yuck, 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 yuck. Shield one, heal two, and then strengthen. At least we don't have to. Uh, oh, that's just this one. Okay, never mind. Uh, spitting drakes are going to be doing some nasty things, but we will be able to uh, take care of all of them. Let's see. Okay. So this brilliant prayer. Heal 5, range 3, and infuse light, and 2 points. That's great. The thing about it is that it's burned, and then it's permanently burned as well. So if you use it for the bottom action, it's gone forever. It's very, it's similar to, um, uh, where is it? Reviving Ether, right there. Uh, that's what that means, you know. You burn it, if you burn it, it's gone for good. You know? Um if you use it for that action. If I use it for this action, or if I throw it away, you know, I'm able to get it back. As long as I didn't use it for this top action. That's what that means. In this case, both the top and bottom actions are burned permanently. One adjacent ally may recover one of their burned cards. That is a very, very good card. Um, if there's a better card in somebody else's uh, discard pile that you need to use again and maybe there is you know some summons are, are worth bringing back and there, there's reasons to bring them bring them back not sure how many times I've used it but I, I certainly appreciate it um, yeah but I'm just going to be using it most of the time for its initiative which is pretty good uh, and that's about it <laughs> um, so we'll stand right here and we will attack here. So now that's in a move two, but it's only a move one because of her um, defensive stance, deduct minus one move from all of your moves. So we have to remember that, that that's happening for our future movement. Attack six, attack eight, now dead. So now, unfortunately, it, it kind of sucks because our tank is back here and our enemies are up there, right? So luckily we have a few of these uh, characters that we can... Oops, we definitely don't want that. Uh, clear target. We want to rotate it that way. There we go. Now they're all disarmed for their round. Uh, for their round. And I'm thinking now's a good time to play this because we want to do that again next round. So let's bring throw voice again. And something good for the bottom action. Let's do call to action so that we can use it for the somebody can attack for or four, actually, or you don't need to heal. Okay, hitting Drakes. Oh, that's right. I was, I was like, why are they doing that? But that's because they're disarmed. They moved up. They lined themselves up. Jerks. <laughs> Bunch of jerks. Of course, they would do something like that. Okay. Well, anyway. It worked out perfectly. Let's drop in our um, our rat right behind us. And we will also stun uh, one of them. This one's poisoned, so let's hit that one. There. At least this one's stunned. We can disarm these two. Uh, in this formation and this line 
it it doesn't allow us to disarm all of them with that uh, the card we just played for the Zeus Singer. There it is. Um, no, undo. Let's heal before we go too far. Or actually, since they've moved up, they were so kind to move up. We could also bring in a. Um, Oh yeah, let's do it. We're gonna bring this in, our mystic ally, to have some more help for next round. And then the chromatic explo explosion, we use um, eagle-eye goggle. No, nope, clear. I just learned recently, actually, that when you click on something, a right click uh, gets rid of it. I'm not sure how long that's been there, but okay, we'll be attacking both of them. We might as well just continue to uh, pummel this one. I have a way of killing this one next round. There we go, we've killed it. Fantastic. Now we've uh, brought in all of the elements, which <laughs> stalls my computer. I don't know, I think it's just the end of the round that uh, sometimes, but... Move four, we need to move. One, two, three, we could get to here. So we want, we want you to move out of the way before her. So let's play, let's use Power Ballad to kind of move and then throw voice to disarm here. All right. Disarm, no, we don't need that, do we? Do we? Do we need disarm? It's a good question. Because I have cold fire here that's going to stun them. Um, no, it's not. Well, we're going to use these cards anyway, but I want to use Spirit of Doom to kill this one outright. That's the plan here. Okay. So we do want to stun or disarm. Where is it? Disarm. We might as well go a little bit earlier. We can just use this to move out of the way. Look at it from this way. Now I'm thinking let's use this one. This way we can strengthen the rat. who might be able to do a little bit more damage there. Uh, the giant, I should say. Um, into the night, let's go invisible. That sounds great. Uh, there's not many other things to do with that, though. I'm thinking invisible so that this has to walk through a, a trap. Ooh, but if it does, it would be targeting the that thing. So let's not do that. Fury would be great right now. One, two, three, attack, and then attack again with the mind's weakness. Um, This would be good to throw it into the trap, but again, then it would be able to walk through there. I think I'd rather be the one to take that damage um, than, than letting it attack her. Especially before it gets a turn. Mm. I'm almost thinking screw it though. Let's do it. move four and then since we have light oh no we've already used it and yeah, we've used both of them we could use uh attack two a strike for holy strike uh stun sorry not strike yep let's go for that let's see how this works Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Move six, attack five, wound with an initiative of 12. Then they're going to be dealing, uh, I hope nothing. Oh no, they will be. We'll have to figure out a way to uh, mitigate as much of that as possible. Well, oh, it was strengthened. I was like, why, why two? But. And we're going early anyway. Looks like I've kind of messed a little, some things up here. <laughs> um, let's use this. That way we can heal. There we go, plus two. That's good. Yep. Then we'll just go invisible. Um, it's still kind of worked out in this way. Now what's going to happen is it's going to say, oh, now I have to walk all the way back. See how slow it walks, so it's it's not gonna be too happy about that, right? Uh, <laughs> thinking. Oh yeah, they're gonna be disarmed anyway, so it's all good. And then we're going to take a step this way and. Make the uh, giant rat strengthen for the next round. So this way we move one, two, three. So you can see one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Even though it's a move four because of the. Eh, I guess we don't really need this now, but we can still make this attack here. And I guess not. But look at all that. It's disarmed, it's poisoned, it's stunned. Good. Good God. Hello. That mystic ally just attacked for five. Um, why? It was two. I don't know. There we go. You're dead. I don't have to do. And is there anything to loot? No, there is not. So we'll undo that and get the movement. Stay right there. You're good. Okay. This one's a pretty short one, actually. Um, there's two more enemies left. I would like to come back, maybe, to pick up some of that money. I don't think I'll be able to. We do have money hiding in... Hey, look at that. It says obstacle and three gold. That is really good to see. I'm happy that they, they implemented that. Um, I'm wondering if... I'm, I'm hoping that they do the same thing with doorways as well. I don't see why they would overlook that. But the gold drops onto obstacles from time to time in that case it did and now we uh we can still see it that it's there so we'll go with this actually you know what let's go early i don't care we'll be able to attack heal attack heal and then you'll also be wounded so that's a good combination there i have finally used parasitic influence you, you guys should be proud of me Uh, short rest. Yes. Sure. Affect all adjacent allies, and then we can heal. Strengthen, affect all adjacent allies. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's have you go first, so that when it attacks you, it will you'll retaliate in it. Die. And then you can use that. I'm just gonna kind of burn through some of her cards now. Um, 
to get her some more experience. Yeah. These rending drakes, man, they, they hit hard. All right. Let's get this. And now nobody will take damage this round. Oh, but you know what? This is going to move away. Oh, but it's dead anyway. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Well, let's attack. Three. And we'll heal. This might be like the third time I've ever used that uh, heal. Um, I forget what it's called. Par parasitic influence. It's all adjacent enemies, isn't it? Or allies. On the next... Nope, wait, where is it? You and all adjacent enemy uh, allies suffer no damage this round. Yep. Well, you're dead anyway. Uh, loot. Undo. You know what? Let's... Let's just have you go over here. Everyone's already dead, so we'll pick up this money and then you can just walk over there and pick that up as well. The attack. And up to here, skip and play, sure, whatever. End with a nice little tune from our Sith singer. And there we go. I expect the harsh winter has driven them to forge further for food. I expect more Drake's encounter Drake encounters across the realm. Well, I'm okay with seeing these kinds of Drake. Not another kind. Um no unlocks. Interesting, but and the mind thief was the was the uh overall winner of the statistics this time um yeah not too bad 15 damage taken that could kill it almost uh, i think at least twice actually uh 55 damage done by the spell weaver not so bad and we did it in an hour and 30 minutes <laughs> Um, okay. Quest completed. Reward 6 XP, and we got a design for the sun earring, which is something on my radar to purchase very soon. We've unlocked Odemore. You inform the mayor of your findings, and he is overjoyed, inviting you for a hearty feast in his manor. For a town as dull as Toadmore, I'm surprised at the workmanship of the fine of the jewelry they've sent me. Reckon it's magical too. I reckon as well. So, trainer, I'm not sure why. Ah, if the if the mind thief reaches two, I'm just going to claim this now, um, because all it's going to do is unlock the story quests. Mind Thief has re received a hastily scrawled note from the others in her nest under Demon's Gate, warning that humans are threatening her home. I think that's it. Well, okay, we don't have any level ups for next time, so we'll be able to, to just jump straight into a scenario. Um, as this is pre-recorded, and the next one will be pre-recorded, I'm not going to go through any of the things that are um, available to us, uh, but the next episode, everything will still be on track. Um, it's just that they're pre-recorded and, and you can't really make any choices for me at this time. Uh, 
I'll be back in a couple weeks, or I guess uh, when you see this, I'll be back next week along for the regular schedule. And uh, yeah, so I hope to see you then. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.